Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to set up file and folder auditing on Windows Server 2022 using group policy. File auditing is an important security measure that can help detect and investigate unauthorized access to sensitive files on a Windows Server 2022 system. We can configure file access auditing so that events are logged every time a specified user or group successfully access or attempts and fails to access a specified file or folder. By enabling auditing, we can identify suspicious or unauthorized activities such as unauthorized access attempts, modifications, or deletions of files. This information is crucial for detecting security breaches, investigating incidents, and preventing future unauthorized access. This type of auditing is useful for compliance purposes such as meeting industry or government standards as well as for troubleshooting and system maintenance. To enable auditing, administrators must specify the specific files and folders to be monitored as well as the type of auditing and the user or group to be monitored. Once enabled, the events are logged in the Windows Security Log, enabling administrators to review and investigate them as needed. By default, File System Object Access Audit is not enabled on Windows Server 2022. We can enable and configure audit settings using Group Policy. In this video, we will go through the process of enabling file and folder auditing on File Server. There are two main native methods to do this. Enable Audit Object Access Audit Policy and enable auditing of specific file and folder. For this demo, we have three VMs running in Oracle VM VirtualBox. This is a Windows Server 2022 domain controller for msftwebcast.com domain. This Windows Server 2022 VM is our member server which is already joined to our domain. This is a Windows 10 client computer. This VM is also joined to our AD domain. Let's go back to our domain controller. Log on to a Windows Server 2022 domain controller using a domain administrator's account. From the Server Manager's tool menu, open Group Policy Management. Right click on Group Policy Objects and select New. In the new GPO dialog box, enter the name for this new GPO. I have given name, file and folder audit policy. Click OK. The new GPO has been created successfully. Right click the newly created GPO and select edit. In group policy management editor window, go to computer configuration, policies, window settings, expand security settings, Click and expand Advanced Audit Policy Configuration. Now expand Audit Policies and then finally click on Object Access. Double click Audit File System. This setting audits user attempts to access file system objects. Select configure the following audit events and choose both Success and Failure. Save changes by clicking Apply and then click on OK. Next, double click on Audit Handle Manipulation. This policy adds visibility into failed access attempts. Select Configure the following audit events and choose both Success and Failure. Then click on Apply and OK to save the changes. Now, I'm going to close the Group Policy Management Editor window. Next, we need to link this new GPO with the OU that contains the file servers. Go back to Active Directory Users and Computers and click on File Servers OU. We have stored the File Servers Computer Account under the OU named File Servers. We will link the GPO to this OU. Go back to GPMC. In Group Policy Management Console, right click the File Servers OU and select Link an Existing GPO option. 
select the GPO which we created earlier and click on OK to apply it to the selected OU. Let me expand it. We can confirm that the GPO has been successfully linked to our OU file servers. Next, we need to manually enable auditing on a per file or folder basis. We can do this by right clicking a file or folder, select properties and browse to the security tab. Let's go back to our file server. First of all, I'm going to manually update the group policy by running command gp update slash force from the command prompt. The policy has been updated successfully. After running command nat share, we can also confirm that we have shared folder name HR data on our file server. On HR data shared folder, I have assigned modify permission to users who are member of HR users group. Let's confirm it. Open file explorer. Go to D drive. Right click the HR data folder and select properties. Go to sharing tab. Confirm that the folder is shared. Click on security tab. Click advanced to access advanced security settings. Now go to auditing tab. On this tab, we have to create a new audit entry. For that, click on add. At first, select users whose actions you want to audit. Click select a principal to open the select user, computer, service account or group dialog box. Choose users or group to audit. If you want to audit all users activities, enter everyone in the enter the object name to select field and click on check name. In our case, we will enter everyone. Click on check names. Click OK to close the dialog box. Three options are available in the type list. Success, fail and all. We will select the all option because we want to audit both successful and failed attempts. Make sure this folder, subfolders and files option is selected. Click on show advanced permissions to view all permissions. In the permission section, you can select all activities that you want to audit. First, I'm going to clear all existing selected permissions. For that, I have to click on clear all. For this example, I'm going to select two permissions which we want to audit, delete and delete subfolders and files. Again, this is totally up to you that which permissions you want to audit. I'm selecting this permission just for testing purpose. You have to select the permissions to audit as per your organization's requirement. Click OK to save the changes. We can confirm that new entry for everyone is added. Click Apply and OK to close Advanced Security Settings window. Finally, click on OK to close the Folder Properties window. After auditing has been enabled, the logged events can be viewed in Event Viewer. Now, if the user deletes any file or folder in the shared network folder, the file system audit success file delete event appears in the security log with event ID 4663 from the Microsoft Windows Security Auditing source. We have manually updated the group policy settings on this computer but still, I want to restart this file server to make sure that we have latest group policy applied on our file server. Let me restart the server. After restart, let's again sign into this file server using our domain administrator's credential. Now, to see the result, let's go to our Windows 10 client computer. On this computer, we have signed in using the domain user account named Deepak Patel, who is member of HR users group. Open run menu, type UNC path WS2022-FS01 and hit enter key to access our file server. We can see the shared folder named HR data. Let's access the HR data folder. Now uh, we can see the existing folder named common reports. Let's delete the folder to test folder auditing. Right click the folder and select delete. Click on yes to confirm folder deletion. The folder is successfully deleted.
can we find who deleted that folder using the event logs let's check it out let's go back to our file server on saw manager click on tools and select event url in the event url window navigate to windows logs and click on security logs here you will find a list of all the security events that are logged in the system click on refresh to see the updated events log and the security click on filter current log and the desired event id in the field labeled all event ids type 4663 and click okay event id 4663 is generated because we have configured file and folder advanced audit policy configuration on our file server using group policy open any of the remaining events in the event url uh, this is the log which we were looking for as we can see this event contains information about the name of the deleted folder and the account of the user who deleted the folder and the subject we can see the username is there deepak p so this is the user from our domain amsaptivebcast.com who has deleted the folder under drive d ashar data and this is the name of the folder which this user deepak has deleted so from event logs we can find that the ad user deepak patel has deleted the folder name common reports this means a folder auditing policy is working as expected in our test environment after enabling file and folder auditing policy we can find in the security log who deleted the file or folder from the shared network folder and when it happened what application was used to delete the file or is the date of the backup to be restored that's all for this video on how to configure file and folder audit policy in active directory using group policy i hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video please let me know in the comment section thank you all for watching this video have a nice day